taken in movies. I'm just curious, how much help did your father give to the, the Marshall program after that tragedy years ago? Now, I'll give you all some inside information that the movie never brought about. Uh, if you saw the movie, um, the coach that did not, uh, was not on the plane was named Red Dawson. He was the coach at, at Marshall. Red Dawson had become a coach at Marshall. It was his first coaching job. He was formerly a wide receiver, a tight end, kind of a wide receiver, tight end at Florida State. The wide receiver quarterback coach at Florida State was my dad. So in the early 60s, Fred Blitnikoff, Red Dawson, they were all quarter, uh, they were all receivers at Florida State. My dad gets the West Virginia job as a coordinator. Red Dawson goes to Marshall as an assistant coach. So when that tragedy occurred, Red Dawson appealed to his good friend and former assistant coach, former coach, Bobby Bowden, for the head coach that we be, that we would like to look at that. They didn't they never played each other. They weren't comp in the movie it looked like they were competition. And that there was some kind of gesture that we gave information to our competition. It wasn't that Marshall and Western did not play each other, you know. But so I don't want to diminish the fact that we, we that we that everything was true. I mean we did we wear crosses on our helmets. I was there, I went on the team, I was there, I was sixty nine or seventy. But there was a special relationship that Red Dawson came up to with, the call, made the call to come up, and that was a former player. I, I believe my dad would have done it regardless. But there was a uh, there was a natural relationship between Red Dawson and uh, 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 my dad, and so when he called, it was just easy for them to come on up and get video of. My dad ran he ran what they call the the Houston Beer. Yeah. My dad went down to uh, Houston. In '67 or '68, a guy named Bill Yeoman was running the, 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 the split back beer. He was doing it better than the country. So dad went down, and my dad ran the option for years. He had run the passing. He was a split back beer Warman coach at some Mormon Bay was. And so, if you watch the movie, but Marshall came and put in the split back beer. Dad all the, had all the video, had all the cut ups, and so they came and put in the split back beer, which is considered like the spread offense today, something where a, a less talented team could out maneuver people that were better, bigger than those days. The option was a way that lesser, smaller teams could could uh, catch up to people that were bigger, and so uh, that was the uh, the relation. Interesting to carry it further. Nineteen eighty five, I interviewed for the head job at Marshall, and I spent the night and stayed with Red Dawson. He was still he was retired. Was in that area. Jerry Faust interviewed right before me, and he turned the job down. I interviewed, and they told me I was too. I was about twenty eight years old. They told me I was too young, and Jerry must have. I never met Jerry, and he hired me. He hired me here from that somewhere online. He talked to somebody there at that point that knew me. I guess that's kind of an interesting follow-up to that. 